And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and we've got some trades here in the morning. I've gotten some requests here over the past couple of days for some trade setups. So as I'm going through the chart, I'm gonna drop a few trade setups in our Discord. Make sure you check out the link in the description below as well, the market is getting a bit of a bounce here. And the first one I want to bring our attention to, I wanna make sure I'm on the right screen. And I need to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. There you go, guys. So this is one of our basic trade setups. A uh, nice little W formation here on Mr. Super, Superverse. Um, and when I say W, here's what I'm talking about is a low a higher low and should get a retracement all the way back to the top side now we kind of missed the entry which is along the green 55 that's where you want to enter on declining volatility so definitely got the the bounce here and that's declining volatility on the moving average which is the white line and i'm going to bring up uh <clears throat> well good old bitcoin here Let's check out the CMEs. How are the CMEs looking as we did put in a massive higher low here, which that leads me to believe that uh, we probably get continuation up to the highs here. It looks like we are coming into the 618. No, we tagged the 786 and back down to the 236 is not out of question here. Um, where I start to get concerned is with a closure back below 67,795. That is the 382 fib. And if I draw it out just a little bit wider using the wicks, you can see perfect tag to the 786. A lot of times you hit the 786 back to the 382. If we put in a higher low along that 382, it is going to look uh generally bullish and you know up and to the right should be expected let's check out spot price action here so looks pretty similar here again i'm gonna say trend momentum and volatility that's the way we trade here so well what is the trend uh, you've got higher highs and higher lows all the way through and a massive stopping volume candle formation. We did say, hey, as long as we're above this wick at 60,500, again, generally we're gonna be bullish looking for upside continuation. Um, where is our next target? I would say a decent target is gonna be at $80,000, that is the 1618 FIB. That's where I would suspect if we do close a daily back above 74,000, we're probably gonna get that run back up to 80,000 and then it's continuations or not. Uh, I know that some of the altcoins are definitely lighting up here. Checking in on NASDAQ. Yep, our target on NASDAQ is a bit higher, the 1618 FIB. I'm gonna mark that off. We've been talking about it. Well, since we since we started making new all-time highs, actually, since we were looking in this zone, again, this is a great buying setup, that falling wedge. And I'm gonna point our attention towards a similar trade setup, which is now happening on the dog with hat chain dog with hat yes it has come down to this dogs with hats uh, let's look at it on the shorter term time frames and see what do we see here so again same setup falling wedge tags the green 55 with declining volatility actually volatility was yeah declining at this this region and that's where we got the bounce and so I had this drawn out earlier a nice little falling wedge pattern which was like this yep and then we got the retest of the trend line pretty much a nice a nice little retest right there and <clears throat> yep so falling wedge pattern and call it a bull flag Call it a bear flag, whatever you want to call it here, but you measure from the 50% full. 
and uh, it did hit the measure move target. So the next question is, are we gonna hit the flag target, which is coming all the way from this low right here? Nice little flag breakout. Would take uh, Mr. With Hat, dog with hat, all the way up to 388. So how would, do I wanna trade something like this? Personally, I'd like to see it come back down to that green 55. It looks like momentum is gonna flip down here on the 15 minute time frame. So probably gonna get wrecked um, as uh, if we close below that nine exponential one more time, I'm looking at a run at 307 closure below the 21 and probably going to come all the way down to the green 55 and kind of get a little reset here and that would be my next interested area area of interest area of interest coming in there at about 285 so trade setup would go a little something like this i would be right below that last major candle and I would be targeting a rather large move. Something like that. Let's see if we can line that up with any additional fibs. Are we coming into this area? Yeah, 329. So big, massive cup. A big, massive cup. And where does the handle get us to? Cup and handle, that's what they call it. Uh, a bit higher, so 423, if this thing does wanna break out on the daily, I would be looking for, uh, again, some upside continuations for Mr. Dog with Hat, but I know that's not why we're all here. We wanna talk about Bitcoin, we wanna talk about Ethereum, and we already went over those targets, so that's pretty much over. Uh, next one that is looking fairly nice is super. Yep, we went over that. And I think I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Now, um, all I want to see for this W2 get completed is, yeah, that that's actually looking much nicer. Ethereum, so trade setup will be given on this one as we have the silver cross present a nice W formation and you could enter right along that green 55, right along the green 55. And how would the trade setup go? Something like this, boom. And I'd just be targeting the highs on this one right below that uh, prior wick low. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101 how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Perfect trade setup on this one. So again, I will make this present in the Discord where you can get those trade signals if you're looking to trade out there. Um, if you're more of an investor, well, invest away and hold long term for the bull market. Uh, Bitcoin is in a bull market. Officially, we're in the bull. We're about to have the halving event coming up here soon, and that's going to be very good for long term continuations to the upside. So trade signal given there. Lots of trade signals in there. Uh, let's see, how's Honey? Mr. Honeyland absolutely got smashed on Coinbase and it does look like it's gonna put in another lower high there. Um, that's okay, long-term we're bullish on this one. MNT is the other one that is lining up for a bit of a decent trade setup on the daily here. So the daily time frame as we came into the green 55, 
Um, we're getting that bounce. We got a W, and I'd probably be targeting about 104 on this one. Let's see, how is my mantle trade? It is going so far so good right now. And that's exactly what you want to see. Bullish consolidation, making a huge bull flag. And this one probably does go for a nice little run if we can just close above the range highs here. Coming in at 92 and where do we usually get pressure at a dollar? So if we use the 1618 fib here, we've got a nice little uptrend. We've got some higher lows, higher highs, and yeah, the next step is another higher high coming in probably off the wick here as that is a fairly large vector candle. This red volume coming in right here and right here. So that is gonna be the area to get above which is this 618 fib and it does look like we are going to get a push up to that 618 so we're going to challenge the 618 and uh, you know short-term sell pressure there if it gets rejected well we have another chance to put in a higher low and that's i'm going to wrap up my thoughts here with bitcoin as i believe i was saying this last week guys is that we probably make a run at the highs and then we kind of fill out this ascending triangle. We fill it out like this, and we come back one more time to swipe down this way, and and then she probably gets launched off there. Um, that, and we got declining volatility, pretty nice sell signal here. We're about to get kicked out of the bullish control zone. So if this stochastic does come back down for another, you know, swipe below the critical line, that would be another indicator. Shorter term, we're going to get that pullback. Um, let's see how Mr. Shrapnel, one of the gaming tokens, right at the bottom side of the range here, you know, picking up those last uh, few stop losses as we're just tagging right below. This does look like a continuation of the downside, personally. You got the death cross on the four hour. You got some volume coming in here and the bit of a M formation here. And if we do close anywhere uh, below the range low, I'd probably be looking for a run back at the range lows here at about 18 cents. But I do believe we will get a bounce from that level. And just want to put in a longer term trend line here to see where that would line up. Is it going to line up with the 618 FIB? Let's see. It's going to line up with the 786. So your last chance for glory on the 786 FIB. It does look like we want to give a swipe down there. Let's see. How's the whiff hat doing? The whiff hat had a nice shorter term target. As long as we don't close back below that green 55, you know, if, as long as we're closing above there and above this trend line, probably going to look good for a little bit more of a push. This one up 20% for the day. Um, but again, the trade setup is a little bit south here. So down at 285 off the purple 200. That's where I'd like to get interested on this one. All right, guys, with that said, make sure you do smash the like button. Enjoy yourself today. Have a blessed and highly favored trading day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.